trying to find it. All right, um, this morning, um, oh, it's just a little after lunch actually. So, this trip we're going to Mundubra, which is it's about five hours from here. Um, I don't go there very often, probably about once or twice a year. There's normally citrus up there. So I'll be bringing back oranges and probably orange juice, I reckon. Um, they just put the juice in like 44 gallon drums, cut it back like that. It's usually frozen. So, uh, Mundubra, sort of from Brisbane, um, Norwest, <laughs> from here. <laughs> sort of in that direction. So, yeah, it's about five hours. We go up through Esk, and it's, um, yeah, it's not a bad drive, actually. Um, I'm going up with, oh, like, just packaging containers, plastic, and, and probably a bit of cardboard from Busy. Take it up there, that's pretty light. So I'll go up through Esk, it's all nice and windy and that, so it's not too bad. Um, but when I'm loaded with citrus, um, probably oranges and that, I don't think like lemons or anything. I think it's oranges. I'm pretty sure an orange juice. And but I'll go out because um, I'm a bit heavier. I'll go out um, towards Dolby. So from Mundubra, I'll just head straight west, go to Dolby, and then back down through Toowoomba Range. So anyway, um, if we leave now or soon. We'll be there around five in the afternoon. So, yeah, better get going because I don't want the bloke having to work overtime and wait for me till 6 or 7 o'clock. So, yeah, better get going. We.
one I just met While I say this much I got a real good feeling Yes I do
1962 at a guess something like that but it's definitely not 65 so um, yeah I'll just go out um, west or, or southwest or something like that um, down and come out of Dolby Oakey and then into uh, Toowoomba down to Toowoomba Range and then yeah, straight into Brisbane from there I think because it's a lot flatter than going down the other way through Esk it's a bit windy and everything so and it's just easier going the other way alright well we'll get into it first and just drop the like the back trailer and then um, go over to the markets and drop the lead but I know myself and I'll get to the yard and I won't want to leave so I think it's better if I just go to the markets first um, I'll just drop the dog move forward Roll the box back, unhook the lead, and then oh, I just I'll just rehook to the back, and then go over to the yard, and then I'm there, and I don't have to leave. Then I can just unhook the back trailer, and then park up, can't have a shower, um, and then go to bed. I think um, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. I'll just muck around a little bit at the markets. It'll be right because yeah, it's true. I, if I get to the yard, I won't want to leave. I won't want to go back over the markets, you know, with the lead. <laughs> anyway. Ah, oh, well, let's get going. Burning fire 
in a dubbo, it's about one o'clock, Saturday afternoon, um, I'm just on my way down to Melbourne now, so um, last night I got in, it was about quarter past one in the morning, it's a little bit annoying because, you know, I missed a night break within like 15 minutes, but anyway, no matter. Um, yeah, it's just been a bit of a funny week this week. I've been doing um, a lot of short stuff at the moment. Um, Brisbane to Mackay, uh, not Mackay, I went to Brisbane to... I don't even remember where I've been now. Brisbane to Kempsey and back. I could just a Kempsey changeover. And then I went up to um, Mackay and come back. And then, um, then I went to Mundubra. On this trip, and came back. Um, and now I'm going down to Melbourne. I just camped at Narrabri last night um, I don't know because I just had enough for the night you know so um, got up this morning about 9 o'clock 8.30, 9 o'clock something like that um, as I was coming in through Ipswich um, I was still working out if I was going to go to the yard first and uh, drop the dog and then go over to the markets or do I, you know, go straight to the market, um, drop the dog, drop the lead, hook back up to the dog, go back over to the yard. I was still mucking around with it in my head. <laughs> I was thinking, which is the easiest way to do this, you know? Like, I knew what amount of work needed to be done, but I was just working out the best way to, to do it, like the easiest way for me. I was thinking um, maybe instead of going 
straight into the market, so I'll, I'll get off, I'll go off um, like Logan Motorway, turn left onto Brave Desert Road, swing into the yard, drop the dog, then go to the market, drop the lead, then come back, you know? Because I'll be sort of going, was on the way type thing. Well, that's what it seemed in my head. Um, and then the funny thing was, I was just passing some fella on the right hand lane and I didn't realise I was so close to the Logan Motorway <laughs> and I was stuck out in the right lane. And um, so that ended that idea. So yeah, I was going into Ipswich now, so I figured, oh, you know, I'll just go straight to the um, markets now. So anyway, got the job done in the end. Um, but as I said earlier, I missed out by 15 minutes um, your night break, you know. So anyway, no matter. All right, so um, yeah, I'm on the next trip already. I'm heading down to Melbourne markets again. And then um, I think I've got like 20 hours left or 22 hours left in the week. Um, I'll take 10 off of that. So maybe like 12 hours left, something like that. When I get down to Melbourne, they might give me a 24 when I get down there. Or they might, you know, shoot me across to Adelaide because I've just got enough time to get across there. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'll just see what happens when I get down there. I wouldn't mind having a 24 actually, it's just um, all them little jobs, like they're only small jobs, but they wear you out the most, you know, because um, you've got to keep going. There's always somebody at the other end waiting for you and that, you know, you can't sort of muck around too much. So yeah, it wears you down, I reckon. <laughs> anyway, all right, well, um, might wind the video up here and yeah, we'll see you on the next one.